Hey there folks, this is GreenyXI welcoming you back to Let's Play Killer7. In this episode, what we are going to do is finish off the hotel, finish off this whole thing. It's going to be the third episode of 3 for Smile Part 1. <laughs> you know, it's going to be done soon, really soon. But <laughs> I shot just as it was closing, that's not exactly what I meant to do. But anyway, let's just find this bullet. Ooh. It was arrow. Let's just find this bullet. It's not exactly hard. N none of them are hard. You've seen that already. So let's get that done. And otherwise, yeah, I just hope this episode doesn't end up too short. Actually, it's just not even a boss. They, they won't even be a boss. It's a mini boss, which is interesting. We haven't seen an enemy like it yet. And just like every other mini boss, that's the case. Let's leave this to a thief. So we're gonna have to use coyote. You don't have to tell us that. We know that padlocks mean that we have to use coyote. We've been doing it all the way through the game. <laughs> oh, never mind. Whatever. <laughs> Whatever. Fucked. I do find it strange how repetitive this game is. Sometimes. In like the hints and the dialogue and stuff. Fair enough, repeat it now and again, but not... All the way through as such. Okay, we've got to talk to Travis to get the soul shell. New York. I'm sure he wore that once before, didn't he? Whatever. I don't remember, really. This series has been going on so long, it's quite hard to remember that sort of stuff. If I was just playing the game, I probably would have finished it in like a week or something. But it's been going on for months because of... Uh, you know, got to render, got to record, got to... Got to prepare things. That's this floor done already, and that's shocking. How much blood have we got? I want to check that before heading off to the next part. Once the loading screen's done, right, good. Ooh, we're full up. So. <laughs> You're fucked up. It's not exactly important by this point. Leveling up and stuff. You're fucked. <laughs> Leveling up. It's not an RPG, Greeny. It's not an RPG. We can't go to the roof anyway. That's surprising. That must be in part two. Okay. That'd make complete sense. But yeah, the seventh floor isn't a typical floor like all the others have been. You'll see exactly what I mean in a moment. As soon as the doors open. And there we go. <laughs> what is it? It's flowers. That's what it is. We'll start off by doing the Harmon's room. Like I said, we're full up on blood. We need to change it and everything. And we need to come in here any anyway to make a checkpoint because this mini boss is going to be based a little bit on luck. Which is no fun, but what you're going to do. I mean, a bit of skill as well, but the speed that he comes at you is just phenomenal. It's, uh, it's pretty unbelievable how. How hard they made it. But that's probably because there's no proper boss, so they wanted to get you stumped in some other way. There you go, she's got more attack power, which a sniper really needs, and speed. So if we can get the speed up in the next assignment now, that'd be nice. <clears throat> in Smile Part 2, I mean. Don't you be worrying about things like. about things like health for this mini boss because it's going to kill her in one if you do it wrong <laughs> oh no so i come in <laughs> it's dark much too dark way too much atmosphere i agree actually they did that very well in this part if nothing else the level design is a bit boring just floor after floor after floor finding the room but the atmosphere is good. You know something's coming, don't you? Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> We're in for it. Once you use the ring, you can never go back. It's the time of reckoning. There's no looking back. Yeah, you can see they're building up to something huge. Right, wind ring. For the last soul shell. Or bullet. I mean, they call them different names and it's a bit weird. 
Actually, we want to be Con for now. I'll switch to Katie after this little part. Into the suite. This is. Oh my god, it's coming. <laughs> the end of the game is coming. I'm not ready. <laughs> it is. It's like you're going into a club, isn't it? Queuing up to go into a club. Suda51 must have loved his clubs, and that's where he got his inspiration from. I'm making that up, but. <laughs> I don't know. I... He does things well, doesn't he? He really does. He does weird well. You look at, like, Tim Burton, and you see how it's weird just for the sake of being weird, and. I don't know what the difference is, but Tim Burton he makes interesting little things, but the films as a whole don't come together very well, I don't think. What am I doing? Speed up, Con. Dangerous. Yeah, the films don't come together very well as a whole. They're good in chunks, where a character might be designed well in its darkness, or that bit of music might be interesting. But it's just not a good film altogether. I liked the barbershop one, where they cut off the heads and stuff. I liked that one by him. That was a musical as well, I don't even like musicals at all. But, that was a pretty good film. But the Alice in Wonderland from Tim Burton was pretty awful, I think. And the Pinocchio one that he's making looks really good though. I can see myself liking that. Because I like these sort of... I used to love Disney films. And now as I've gotten older, I sort of like... Time to smile. Yeah, time is right. But yeah, as I've gotten older, I sort of like liked films that are like the Disney films, but more mature, you know. I can still watch Disney films and enjoy them loads, but it's nice to see how there are older takes on them, you know. What do you want to do with the time of smile? Take out the harder ones to hit first, whatever you do. Hopefully leaving the head to last, but sometimes the double tap can make that impossible, so to go up. Oh, I got zoomed in and everything. Maybe Com would be pretty good. So you can hit them pretty fast. And, you know. Oh, it's hard. There we go. There's such little dots and your sniper just sort of waver about a little tiny bit. Right, let's reload now before... Here we go. This is the luck bit. Here we go. On the... On the um, run through, it took me a long, long time to do this mini boss, like five tries or something. Which actually doesn't sound that much now that I think about it, but at the time, having to come back and revive all the time and go back through, it was quite a while. Anyway, I think it's a cutscene come in, I think. Not quite yet, okay. That's fine. But there will obviously be a cutscene to end this part, and then Smile Part 2 is going to be where things start sort of properly change. <laughs> he says as slowly as possible. Anyway. Now it's a cutscene. You can tell it's going to be one, because whenever the camera changes your character, there's going to be a cutscene involving the character, you know? Here we go. You the one they call Matsuken. No, Kanjiro Matsuoka is not here. I already handed him over. Where? How about I give you a clue? You know we don't have time for puzzles. Of course. A new informant is waiting. When you find yourself getting close to the truth, please come again. I'm afraid our time is up. Good day. <laughs> wasn't, that, wasn't that exciting, folks? <laughs> that was one of the most boring end cutscenes I've ever seen, but I think if they put all of Smile into just one part, it would be more interesting. And they could have done more with it. And I think that was what they initially intended, maybe. Oh god, he's screaming again. But anyway, this has been Greeny XI. I really hope you've enjoyed Smile so far. I know it was a little bit tedious and everything, but part two is where it sort of builds up a little bit and makes it truly unique and s makes it stand out from all the other assignments. So, this has been Greeny XI. Hope you've enjoyed. See you again in a bit.